This was built 40 years ago. His name was Gavrilo Princip. Look at Mark. Minus with spinach, this one is with some uh, yogurt garlic sauce. 11,500 who died in Sarajevo during the siege. Bread with some kaimak and onion. Got totally lost in Sarajevo. They are more of subcultural city than the cultural city. The whole thing took us two hours. We could just join the gang of Bosnian teenager. We would have checked more mosques, churches from the inside. It's 6 a.m. I woke up actually around 5 ish from the coast of Imam. The mosque is just next to us. First impression with Bosnia people really drive very good cars. It's very steep. Being that high in the mountain, of course, affects the climate a lot. Take an art, some uh, statement on it. Sarajevo was found in the 14th century. There are still a lot of signs the Ottomans were here. Now I'm actually very near to the Pigeon Square, where the time has stopped. I have to be very, very careful because of the pigeons and this bird dog. I just got uh, some snacks from this Pekara Edin. Sirnica is the banitza here. Got totally lost in Sarajevo. Hopefully Toshku can find my way out of here. It feels so peaceful besides the barking dog. I just stumbled upon a, on the minaret of some mosque, which is wooden. Haven't seen such thing. That's it for the morning walk. Now we are at the Bash Charshia. The morning people from different countries and even continents. We ordered uh, coffee and fresh juice. And after that we are heading to a free walking tour where we will be shown around a bit more by locals. Very wide street. And this was one of the first buildings they built. They'll build railways. You had a train from Vienna to Sarajevo and from Budapest to Sarajevo. Just 11,500 who died in Sarajevo during the siege. Pretty much 160 mosques were built during the Ottoman period, but 40 were built in the last 20 years. This was a residential place for Sarajevo, a building that will show that we are a modern city. That's but the, the occasion was again the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The occasion was. They deserve a cheaper rent because of the ugly views. <laughs> What's the name of this river, by the way? Miletska. In fact, Franz Ferdinand uh, was warned by someone who knew the customs of this area well not to visit anything here at, on that day because it can provoke something. But he did show up and he was supposed to go to the city hall. The building at the end of the street with orange and yellow stripes. Seven young men, seven assassins were sent to Sarajevo to do this. Among them, a very young man, 19 years old only, basically a teenager. His name was Gavrilo Princip. He was uh, very ill at that moment. He had tuberculosis. That disease didn't have a cure at that moment. So he thought he's dead anyway. He was more than willing to be one of the assassins. But he was quite sick. A very famous artist. It was an honor to make them. And they were put here so that every Sarajevan can stand in his shoes. <laughs> Because we are more of subcultural city than the cultural city. Um, there is um, a theater made into a bar called Kino Bosna. It's really nice, but it's only on Mondays. It's really cool. It's very, uh, it's very Sarajevo type of mm -hmm. party. And we got recommendations from our tour guide, one of them being this uh, Jevapcinica, where they serve the traditional bread with some kaimak and onion. Mm. So after me we're gonna walk around and that's a street in the old town that the guide also recommended college work and a lot of copper stuff. You can actually hear the heating on the copper.
here a display the typical sweets from Boston, which are no much different than Turkish sweets like baklava, Turkish delight. Second day starting, that's our breakfast from the Burek Chinica. Mine is with spinach, this one is with some uh, yogurt garlic sauce. And this is the homemade Iran. First stop for today is the cable car bringing us up to the Olympic remains of the bobsleigh. This is Mount Trebevis, which overlooks Sarajevo with such a fraternal vigilance. It is the site of an $8.5 million combined artificial bobsled. And so she's helping me coming up the stairs, the around 100 stairs, that will bring us to the cable car. The cable car is every 20 minutes, and I see there are a lot of people waiting. It's a very long line, and actually it's moving quite fast, so I think soon we'll be at the entrance. We'll pay tickets, which is 20 km for there and back, 15 for one way. For a pet, you, you pay 4 km for there direction. We have a pet. Okay. The doors just got closed. He's not really enjoying his trip. Like this funny doll actor in Silence of the Lamb. Just finished the cable car ride. Tosco was behaving for most parts, he just doesn't like the muzzle. Super nice, fresh air. Okay, then it's not here. Okay, let's go then. <laughs> the main reason that we and all these people are coming here is that um, in 84 there was Olympics in Sarajevo. And there are some uh, remains from the um, sports items here. Here exactly there is an abandoned bobsled. I mean, today you can find some food trucks. People just come here to relax and there is quite nice. Once you are out from the cable car station, you come to a place with like kind of a parking. And here the confusion begins because there are so many of the signs. But finally we find it. That's the Bob Staza or Bob Sled track. 10 minutes going down the hill. And as far as I know, you can even go all the way down to Sarajevo through the Staza or through the bobsled. We enjoyed very much the cable car ride and down here would be also very nice. Not sure, so Tosh couldn't enjoy it that much, of course he was in this cage, but it was a small inconvenience for the pleasure to be with us now. Not even 10 minutes walking from the cable car station, we are already at the track of the bobsleigh. It's very cool forest, the air is very fresh, so when you come up you should dress up a bit thicker than down in the city because it's cooler. People who do mountain biking can come up here. Some graffiti artists, yeah. photographers for sure. Yeah. I was thinking to start a drone here as well. Oh, that would be a great idea. This was built 40 years ago and it's still in great shape. Marco.
Just joined a gang of Bosnian teenagers. They like him, he like them. The whole thing took us two hours from buying the tickets. We took it 11.05, typed on the ticket, and now it's 1.05 and uh, we are back in Sarajevo from the hill. I can't think of a better way to say goodbye to this beautiful city. So she can, looks like him a bit. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about you, but Sarajevo really will stay in my heart. Yes, it's very cool. We would have checked the tunnel, we would have checked more mosques, churches from the inside. So we are just thinking what we would have done if we were staying longer. But there is for sure more to see than only for one day. But I wouldn't like this car situation. And also I can imagine it's very difficult to drive on this. Drive and park. But maybe also bikes is not the easiest. Having a break here after the highway next to Zenitsa, and this small booby came to say hi. So cute. Oh, mom. Now we have to continue because we have still a lot of way in front of us. 